Hey, La and Bob, uh, just giving you a little update about what is going on for Christmas. I know you guys aren't able to uh, help, but I just want to let you know kind of the situation here. Um, the good news is, uh, first of all, on her condition, uh, Bob talked to her the other day. She is doing fantastically well. Um, and I think, you know, we have kind of established that she needs to be a almost fully functional human here. She, she We can't wait on her hand and foot. Um, it took a couple of weeks to get that in, you know, the groove. And so now she's doing much better. Um, she's at 89 pounds, 89.6 pounds today. We've been making her, making her. We She's been wanting to go walk around the neighborhood. She's trying to get herself to a mile. She's excited about getting to a mile. Um, she's at 0.87 right now, so it won't be long um, until she gets there. She has been... Uh, you know, she when she first got here, she, you know, peed the bed pretty much every night. Uh, she's gotten herself to um, waking up in the middle of the night, changing her underwear, peeing, uh, you know, and not being and being dry. So we are on a, I think, uh, you know, a ten day streak of being dry, which is great. She's excited to, you know, every morning to report to me that she's dry. She's taking her pills by herself. She is um, managing the TV by herself. She's making her own lunches. Uh, I make her breakfast for her and we serve her dinner. But for the most part, she can manage herself in the house. She knows the drop down in the living room so she doesn't fall. She's, she's very cognizant of it. She, ha she woke up a few times kind of disoriented early on, but I think now she's gotten better. And now that she's also gaining weight and, and getting some muscle, that's starting to help her cognitively. She's, she's, she's doing better. So she is definitely not the same person law that you were taking care of a couple Christmases ago where she essentially didn't know what the heck was going on and, uh, and couldn't do anything by herself. She is functioning, uh, probably 75, 80% uh, of what you would expect if she was a fully functional human running her own life. Um, so we are trying to figure out Christmas, as you know, and uh, so what we had tried to do is see if Oakmont would do what they call respite care, which is uh, where they allow, um, you know, a person to basically stay like a hotel for a, a week or two so that the family can go on vacation and that kind of stuff. And they do sort of respite care in the area, but we were thinking, you know, respite care is expensive and she would be with people she doesn't even know over Christmas. So we were hoping that Oakmont could do it. Well, they called me this morning. They told me they no longer do respite care and they cannot help. So the situation we find ourselves in now is essentially mom would need to be here by herself in this house for this from the 21st of December to the 29th of December. Um, and so we are going to help her get to that goal in the next three months. And I know she can do it. She already can make her own food and make her own coffee and that kind of thing. She can already do that stuff. <clears throat> but she's just not certain of it. She, you know, feels like she still needs help and you wants to make sure someone is here. Plus, she's going to be lonely. Plus, it's over Christmas. So what we're going to try to do is figure out a schedule of the days that she is gone or that we're gone and she's here to have someone come in every single day and check on her. Harry, our friend who's 83, who she mom knows, and we've been out to dinner a few times, going to come in and check on her, make sure she's doing okay, make sure there's anything she needs, someone will come in. But literally every day, my neighbor next door, someone will come and check on her, hang with her, you know, spend a little time. Teresa's sister's uh, and Tr Ma, Teresa's mother-in-law, who mom and Melon are friends, um, we're going to try to coordinate a Christmas Day uh, get-together. Um, usually on Christmas Day, Teresa's sisters go to their other families, their married in-law families, and so there really isn't anything going on on Christmas Day. And uh, Melon, of course, uh, is would just be at home alone, so we're going to try to see if we can get Melon to visit and hang out during the day, pretty much all day for Christmas, and then hang, you know, get dinner and meals with um, Teresa's family on on uh, the on Christmas Day. And then the rest of it is just you know, maybe getting some folks from Oakmont to come here or maybe someone picking her up and bringing her to Oakmont to hang out with them, with her friends for a couple of those days. Uh, we're only really dealing with uh, seven days, uh, eight nights, seven days, because um, we're leaving Friday the 21st and coming back the 29th. Uh, so I think, you know, 
we can make this work. It's just that's the current situation. And so we're going to work towards that. And if you guys have any other kind of uh, ideas, that would be great. But that's currently where we find ourselves. It's not the best idea. I mean, it's not great. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. And I honestly think, though, having this goal for mom getting to a place where she can manage herself for a week by herself is not going to be bad. I think uh, over time it'll get her into the place where she knows she needs to be stronger. She's got something to shoot for. So that's currently what's going on. I will send this to you over YouTube and uh, let me know what you think.